everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I had an idea the other day for kind of a new video series. Um, I realized that a lot of the life lessons that are really, really important to me and kind of fundamental to me have actually come from some pretty odd places. And if you know me in real life, you know that I love telling stories. So I don't know, I'll call it something like life lessons learned from weird places. All right, so here's the deal. When I was 16, I was on exchange in Germany and it was a very loosely supervised um, trip. And we all were, a bunch of the new exchange students were meeting up in a town about six hours away. Um, and we were gonna go and explore this international expo that they had going on. And it was supposed to be really awesome and cultural. And it was, except the first day, it took us a really long time to get there. We had to go to the expo in groups of four. We were staying outside of the city and we had to catch a train. The first day I slept in and when I woke up, the only people left in camp were two girls that were a little bit scary and one girl who was extremely sheltered. Um, so we ended up being the group of four. We had to go together. So we get on the train and we're going on the train and everything's fine and I'm looking forward to the expo and I'm gonna <laughs> learn a bunch of cultural things and I'm excited and then all of a sudden the two kind of bad girls get off the train not at our stop and then they tell me I get off with them thinking like I don't know what's going on um, but I have a horrible sense of direction so I'm gonna trust them then they tell me that the plan was and has always been that they are going to go and get tattoos and get their tongues and nipples pierced. I'm like, okay. So my mind runs like all of the horrible things that could happen. And I make the decision that I should probably go with them because I'm actually really scared about what will happen to them. Um, and I don't, like, I, I just need to make sure that everyone's okay. That's kind of my thing. So I end up going with them. We all go together while they're getting tattoos, while they're getting everything pierced, um, these guys come into the tattoo shop and they're from Italy and they are chatting us up, starting conversation. And there's this one guy who has taken a real shine to me and he's being super creepy and won't leave me alone. So then these girls that have just gotten tattoos end up hitting it off with two of the guys from this group of Italian dudes and they invite us all back to their house. Now, at this point, I'm like, hell no, not happening. But the guy that creepily liked me um, was like, I have to go to work. I have to stay behind. I can't go to the house. So then I was like, well, I can't stay behind by myself with this guy. Um, I'm actually probably safer coming to the house and also who the heck knows what's gonna happen. So all of us get into a cab and we go to the house of these guys that we don't even know, that we can barely communicate with in the middle of a German city. And we don't even have cell phones. It's not even that time where I'm like, I'm too old to have even had a cell phone at that point in my life. Um, but here we go. And the girl that, is with us that's really sheltered is like having a massive panic attack this entire time and I'm like it's gonna be okay I'm gonna we're gonna figure this one out it's gonna be okay like it'll be okay don't worry about it we got it um, we go to the house the two girls disappear with the two guys they are nowhere to be seen um, leaving me and this girl who's hyperventilating alone in this house and we're sitting there and I'm trying to figure out what to do and I'm like okay i can figure this out like don't worry i can see that there's a phone on the wall i can call a cab i can do something like okay we're not gonna panic um i'm just gonna wait i'm gonna find these girls it's gonna be fine but all of a sudden the door opens and in walk a bunch of guys and this one guy <laughs> looks at me and he's just like my this other girl's crying and i'm just kind of sitting there and he's like who are you and i was like uh and he speaks in english so i'm like hey my name's kristen i'm an exchange student my friends are with your friends i think and i don't know where they are and we've been here for a really long time and i kind of just want to go home and he's like i got this he goes he goes downstairs he obviously talks to his friends and his friends say something like give us an hour something who knows i don't know but anyway he comes back and he's like look kristen He's like, I get you're panicking right now and you're scared and it's okay, 
um, and I get it. But um, he's like, I'm gonna get my friends, like we're gonna, in an hour, we're gonna call a cab and we're gonna get you all out of here and everyone's gonna be safe and it's gonna be totally fine. And there was just, like I looked at him and I was like, okay, I trust you. And he just had this like thing where I knew that it was gonna be okay. And I knew he was taking care of it. And so he's like, I understand that you're totally panicking. And he's like, but all we can do right now is do what we do in Italy when we're stressed and that's eat. So let's go cook some dinner. Are you hungry? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, I guess I'm kind of hungry. I haven't eaten all day. Like, yeah, I'm hungry. And so him and my friend and this guy, we sit in the kitchen and he starts pulling ingredients out of the fridge and he just, starts teaching us the Italian names for all of the food in the fridge and he's teaching me and he's making us repeat it back and he's showing us how he's cooking and he's teaching us this new cooking method and we're making this amazing dinner and we're like laughing and joking and we're actually having a really good time and we make this huge pasta dinner and then all of a sudden my friends and these two guys like emerge from downstairs and we are all eating this pasta and we're all laughing and I'm telling everyone about all the names for the new food items that I know in Italian now and everything was okay. We ended up getting a cab and we ended up making it back to the camp. We were totally in trouble, but we were alive and we were okay. And for many years, I was actually in contact. I got like emails every Christmas from this Italian guy. Um, because uh, we stay in touch for all of these years. Um, as a side note, when I was looking for a job in Toronto, I ended up interviewing in an Italian restaurant and they asked me if I knew um, any names of Italian food or food in Italian. And I still remembered all of the food items that I had learned in this crazy experience. And they asked me how I knew these food items. And I was like, well, got a bit of a story for you so um what this really taught me was like sometimes when everything seems really messed up and really crazy all you can do is focus on the present moment and be in the present moment and enjoy the time that you have right now because everything else might be messed up so life lesson that i learned from a weird place <laughs>